Hello and welcome. My name is Justin. I'm going to be showing you in this video today on how I made my own solar panel longboard. First off, we're going to go to Amazon here. We can actually order just about everything. We have a Quest skateboard here. It's a nice longboard, nice and cheap. I think I got it for about $50 used, which is really good. Next, we have a portable solar panel charger for your phone with a USB port and all the good stuff. Next we have a portable power bank, which has 13,400 milliamps, a 2 amp input and 4.5 amp dual USB output, which is pretty good. And there are other cheaper alternatives. Next we have some LED lighting, which is just for cool effect, you don't need these, but I recommend it, because it's actually kind of fun at night to have a cool light underneath your longboard while riding. And last we have some clear grip tape. For longboards, which you're going to need so that the sun can actually see through and charge a solar panel. Okay, so now I'm going to go over on how I exactly built this thing. And first things first, well, you need the longboard, and I'm going to have pictures that go along with this as we go. Once you have the longboard, we're going to actually take apart the solar panels, which I have what they look like before and after you take them apart I have them what they look like after <laughs> you get a single panel like this I bought one that had two panels I only used one I could have used another one right here and actually re-soldered it but I chose to go with just the one for now if you put two you could actually get more voltage out of this but I decided to go with the one now since you do just use the one it doesn't actually provide too much charge, but it does provide some charge at least. And next, what I did is I took off all the grip tape around this area where the solar panel was gonna go, and then I kind of shaved down and dremeled down a, a nice, nice quarter of an inch for the solar panel to sit in. And underneath, we have here is where I actually kind of cut through so I can actually bring the cables in and mount the USB underneath and add some brackets lying around to actually mount the USB. Same with the, uh, the power bank here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I didn't plan on it being perfect. And after that, got the clear grip tape, applied it on top. Everything stayed nice and stable, which is pretty good. And after that, put some LED strips underneath. Just kind of staple gun them to the bottom of the board for now. It's not, not perfect, but it's kind of fun. It was, it was fun to make for sure. I can actually plug those in. Look at that. That's fun. And also another thing I forgot to mention that I bought on Amazon is this little holder. It's actually for car vents, so you can put your phone in it and hold it there while you drive and look if you're going to use GPS or something but I decided to take it apart and put a screw into the bottom of the board not too long of a screw and that way you can actually hold your phone or a GoPro and charge and have it hold it pretty tight while you ride so that's pretty much it in a nutshell there's not too much more I did also paint the board itself I painted it white so the color could actually uh, bounce off of it a little bit better than a darker color. White seems to bounce any color off a bit better than any other color, which is nice. And that way you get a nice, fun ride. It's really fun to ride at night. It's nice. <laughs> get to uh, put any kind of color you want. I think we have the settings over here. Now if we can look, we have mode. We can actually change what we want. Could just have a blue that breathes in a red, which is pretty nice. There are other LED strips you can buy which can actually give you a different alternative of colors and everything, but this was just about the cheapest one that I did find. And look at that. That's crazy to ride at night. <laughs> you will definitely stand out, which is nice. We definitely don't want any of those because that's a bit blinding. That's like a seizure warning right there. But anyways, the whole idea behind this board is it's just an idea I had and I decided to make it. I thought it would be cool to have a long board where the solar panel could 
charge anything from the USB ports, the two USB ports, during the day, and can also charge the power bank directly from these USB ports down here into the power bank. That way, during the day, you can charge the power bank, and at night, you can charge anything off the power bank, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty good for skateboarding, for what I do, because I can actually lug a bunch of stuff on here, or I can charge any of my equipment off of it if it runs low on battery when I'm filming, which is nice. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments below.